factorizing is the reverse of expanding. You'll see I've got a set of brackets up the top here, 7 outside of x plus 3. When we want to do it, when we want to expand a set of brackets, we multiply the term out the front, the 7, by every term inside the brackets. So 7 times x equals 7x, and 7 times 3, 7 times plus 3, is plus 21. That is expanding. Factorizing is looking at the two or more terms that we have here, finding the highest common factor, in this case it's 7, putting it outside the brackets and leaving inside the brackets the remaining factors. So going from the brackets to expanded form is expanding. Going from expanded form back into brackets is factorizing. Let's have a look at some examples to see how we do it. So we've got to factorize 3x plus 3. We look at both the terms, or all the terms if there's more than two, and find the highest term, the highest value that goes into both of them. Now in this case, the highest common factor is 3. It can help quite a lot to rewrite your expression where each of the terms is the HCF multiplied by whatever else we need. So the first term is 3 times x gives me 3x. The second term is just 3 times 1, because 3 times 1 is 3. Then, take your HCF out the front of the brackets, and in the brackets goes everything else, x plus 1. We can always check that we've expand or that we've factorized correctly by expanding back. So find a scrap piece of paper, or move off to the side and say this is my check, and expand your factorized version. 3 times x equals 3x, 3 times 1 is positive 3, don't be fooled and forget to do that multiplication. 3x plus 3, that's the same as the question we had, we're correct. So our steps are find the highest common factor, rewrite if that works for you, Sorry, my writing's very messy there. We move our HCF to the front of the brackets. The remaining terms are in the brackets and check by expanding. Next one. Twelve A minus fifteen A squared. We have to get the highest common factor. That means all numbers or pronumerals or powers that could possibly go into both terms. 
So we look at the coefficients. We've got 12 and negative 15. 3 goes into both of those. a and a squared, a goes into both of them. So our highest common factor is 3a, not just 3. Rewrite if you want. 3a times 4 minus 3a times 5a because 3a times 5a will give you the 15a. Negative 3a times 5a gives you that negative 15a. Bring our HCF out the front, 3a, and in the brackets, 4 minus 5a. Expand back to check if you want. Next question. Negative 6x minus 20x squared. If there's negatives involved, we may want to take out a negative highest common factor. Our aim is to get what's in the brackets as simple as possible. So if we can take out a negative and make it very simple, we do. The convention, that is the, the set of guidelines that we usually follow, is that if the first term is negative, we take out a negative highest common factor. So you'll see both of these have the first term as negative. So our HCF will be negative. Then we look at the coefficients. 2 goes into both of these. Then we look at the pronumerals. x goes into both these terms. So our HCF is negative 2x. Let's try these two without rewriting first, because you are most welcome to do this this way. Highest common factor out the front. And then say, negative 2x times what gives me negative 6x? Well, that would be times 3. Negative 2x times what gives me negative 20x squared? Now, 10 x will work, but be very, very careful with our signs. A negative times a negative would be positive, but we want to get negative 20x, so we'll have to do negative 2x times positive 10x. Notice how moving a negative HCF out the front changes the signs of both the terms which is our aim. Now in question four, I'd like to start by making a mistake. I'd like to show you what happens if we take out not the highest common factor, if we accidentally get one that's not quite as large as it should have been. First term is negative, negative HCF. And if I was being careless, I'd look at 16 and 48 and think, I know, four goes into both of them and x goes into both of them. So you can probably pause this and think through what my mistakes are. So if I did this this way, negative 4x out the front, and I ask myself, what do I multiply negative 4x by to get negative 16x squared y? Then 4 times 4xy. Then what do I multiply negative 4x by to get positive 48x cubed? Negative times a negative is a positive. And notice we're just flipping the sign. It was a plus. We take out a negative highest common factor. And we'll end up with a negative, the flip sign on that second term. 4 times 12 is 48. And I've got x squared. It's always a good idea to stop and look at your brackets and think, do I have any common factors remaining in the brackets which would show me that I made a mistake? And of course I do. 4 goes into both of the terms and x goes into both of the terms. My HCF should have been negative 16x squared. 
you have two options at this point. You can factorize just what's left in the brackets and multiply your two outside terms together. So negative 4x, oops, x times HCF of this new set of brackets is 4x outside of y minus 3x and then multiply these two, so I've got negative 16x squared outside of y minus 3x. But if you think that's going to confuse you, then once you've worked out that you got the wrong HCF, work out the right one and just redo your question.